up, guys? Time. All right, Shelly, why don't you start us off? Okay, Hunter, what do you know about Justin and fishing? Justin and fishing? Um, I know he wears this Irish fishing club every day, so I don't really know too much past that. Um, so obviously he's pretty into fishing. All right. What do you think about him being the starter? Oh, I'm fired up for him. Um, obviously, these past three weeks, he's been the starter. Um, and, you know, we've been able to be successful in, in many ways um, with him out there. So I'm excited to see him continue to improve, continue to grow. And um, I know, you know, we got to continue to go out there and make plays for him. Thank you. Uh, Fernando. Uh, Hunter, what do you think he's done different? Or what do you think he's brought to the offense uh, as a whole since he has been named, uh, or I mean, since uh, he took over against Kansas City? Yeah, obviously you see his arm talent. Um, he's got a ton of arm talent. Um, he's big, he's strong. He has, you know, he can make guys miss in the pocket. He's athletic. Um, you know, he has a lot of tools that, you know, he brings to the table. And so he's been able to be successful um, in, in a lot of different ways. And so, you know, he's getting the ball into guys' hands to help, you know, allow us to make plays. And I think that's the biggest thing. The three, th the three touchdown throws that you saw on Sunday, how impressive were they, especially coming from uh, a rookie quarterback? Uh, very impressive. I mean, the two, especially off the, his back foot, um, the long touchdowns with guys in his face. Um, I mean, that's, it, it, there's not many guys that are going to make those throws, especially that far. Um, so it's, he's got a ton of arm talent. He's very confident in himself. And so that's, it was, uh, I think that was a big confidence booster for himself. I, I mean, I know he has confidence, but it's always good to see it, you know, out there on the field. Thanks, Hunter. All right, Nick. Hey, Hunter, uh, what is the, uh, one of the things that you noticed about Justin from the time that he started uh, into where he is right now as far as his mental preparation for the game? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's locked in, man. Um, I think, obviously, this offseason was very different um, from the aspect of just being virtual and not being hands-on as much. So I think it just took him a little bit, probably offensively, uh, you know, schematic-wise, just to pick everything up. Um, but after that, man, he's been locked in. Um, his mental preparation is awesome. I mean, he's, he's ready to go every Sunday. How much do you feel like your relationship with him specifically have helped him, you know, come along and really develop and mature? Um, I don't, I mean, you know, I just try to keep things light sometimes with him. You know, I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You know, this is a big, big moment. Uh, you know, he's the quarterback of a uh, NFL franchise. So, you know, I know, especially being a rookie, um, he's first round guy, you know, there can be pressure there. So I think I just try to keep things relaxed, man. Um, you know, just keep him smiling. I think that's my biggest thing that I try to preach to him is just try to keep things light sometimes, man. This is still football at the end of the day, man. This is something we've, we've played since we were young and we love playing. We have a lot of fun with this. So I think I, I always try to remind him to keep it light like that. Thanks, Hunter. Emmanuel. Hunter, that uh, 2018 team that went to the playoffs, um, y'all won a lot of close games. What, what about that team allowed y'all to do that? And how can I kind of transfer over to this season, you think? Yeah, um, shoot, we, you know, guys made plays at the end of games. And I felt like, um, you know, we just kind of knew at the end of those games, especially when the things were tired, that we were going to come out uh, victorious. And so we just got to continue to um, work out here, I think, every single week. Um, we're a different team than 2018, 100%. But, and there's, but there's still some guys that are from that team here. And so uh, kind of just – Keep growing, um, keep grinding, um, and th those things are going to come. You know, these guys work. We've got a great locker room, uh, great coaching staff, and so we're going to continue to go to work. I mean, we're right there uh, with the top in the league, and so we're we're close, and we we, we just got to, you know, go over the edge, and why not do it on Monday Night Football? Sure. Um, what does it take kind of mentally and from an execution standpoint to close out games and put, put teams away, you think? Yeah, it's a little bit of a grit thing um, and a mentality, um, especially if you're up, you know, you have a four minute mode, control that ball. Um, and, you know, big time players got to make big time plays in, the, in those moments, too. So, um, you know, myself, um, you know, all the guys on, you know, that I think call themselves big time players. We got to make big time plays for our team, um, especially in those moments, especially when things start going not our way. We got to turn things around. Thank you. Nando. 
Uh, Hunter, what have you seen from the Saints on defense? Uh, they have, a, I mean, a great secondary. They have a very good front seven. Just overall, what have you seen from them on, on film? Uh, yeah, they're, like you said, they're very talented, uh, big, physical, and then they can really, really run. So um, it's it's going to be a big, uh, big ask, big challenge this weekend. And we know it going in. Um, they're you know they're a really, really good football team. Obviously, they've showed it these past couple of years and. Um, you know, we got a big challenge ahead of us. And so um, I think we're all looking forward to it, but it's it's definitely going to be – they're really good. We've got to be ready to go and execute throughout this week to be ready to go on Monday night. The three years that you guys have been in Los Angeles, I believe, are have been the three years that you guys have done joint practices with them. Can you take anything away from those practices um, for Monday night Monday night game? Um, I think you could take some things for sure. I mean, obviously it's – uh, the same defense you were going against, and some of the, you know, some of the same guys. Um, so you could take some of that stuff and uh, apply it. Do you remember the last time you played the Saints in the regular season, or no? Yeah, I think it was uh, my rookie year actually in San Diego. Cool. Uh, do any? Do you remember? Or, uh, well, never mind. Okay, I'm good. Sorry about that. Brain fart. Good, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, Cam. Cam. Hey, hey, Hunter. Um, thanks, thanks, Josh. Hey, Hunter. Uh, you got your, your offense is being now led by a couple rookies. You got rookies in key positions, I should say. Justin Herbert, and then the running back Josh Kelly is a big proponent. What's your conversation with these rookies to kind of keep their? You say keep the situation light, but keep their mind at ease uh, through these tough situations. Obviously, you haven't won a game yet, but to help you kind of win these games to keep their minds kind of in the right perspective to to help you guys win games. Yeah, I think, um, like you said, I, I want to keep it light, keep it fun. Um, it remind these guys to have fun with it. Um, you know, it's 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 definitely a big ask, and this is it can be a lot of, a lot of pressure, especially those key positions like that. Um, but to have fun, man, um, but also to take it very serious and be ready to go throughout the week. And just your preparation um, is big, and you know, prepare, and so that when you go out there on Sunday, you're ready for anything. And so I think I just try to. We try to say that's all those guys, and uh, you know they're doing a great job. And uh, it's it's a lot, especially being a rookie, um, and the kind of off season they've had. But they're they're doing a tremendous job. And seeing the Saints the past couple of years, as you mentioned earlier, um, have you seen the Saints any different on film this season than what you've seen in practice the last couple of years? Um, you know, obviously a game is a little bit different than practice. I mean, those practices definitely get pretty intense. Um, when you're going against another team, but you know, obviously a game is a little different. They're flying around a little bit, uh, a little bit different in the game. But you know, they're they're fast. They float the ball. They play together. Um, you know, they're a very very physical team. And so, um, you know, we're gonna have to be ready to go definitely for Monday night. Thank you, sir. All right, Hunter. Two more for you, uh, Gilbert. Go ahead. Hey, Hunter. I missed the first part of the interview, so hopefully I'm not repeating a question here. Uh, but on Sunday, it seemed like you were doing pretty well in, in the blocking game uh, with, with the other tight ends. Is it just as rewarding for a tight end to contribute in the blocking scheme compared to the receiving aspect? 100%. I love, I love blocking. Um, you know, I love being able to see a successful run game be established because of us. Um, so, you know, I think me and Burris take a big pride in that. Um, it's trying to be two big guys that can – really affect the game in the, in, you know, in the running game. Um, so, you know, for myself, I just try to be balanced. Um, you know, there's other ways I can affect the game than just catching the ball. Um, so, it, you know, there's so many different ways you can do it. And I try to, I try to really take pride in that. I feel like sometimes um, people, you know, last year I was a little bit more inconsistent. So I've been trying to focus on it coming into this camp and this off season. And I uh, feel like I've been able to do that so far this season. Just got to continue it. Thank you. All right, last one, Pop. Go ahead. Hey, Hunter. Just going back to, to Justin and, and his performance over the last three weeks, how impressive is what he's done when facing a pressure? He's been under pressure a lot, whether it's making throws like through hits or avoiding pressure and rolling out and, and doing off script stuff. How, how impressive is that part of his game through three starts? Very impressive. He's uh, obviously, like I said, he's, he's a big kid. Um, I don't think you realize how big he is until you get next to him. So um, it's, it's very impressive. He's very athletic for how big he is, and so it, it's tough to bring him down. And then his arm talent just speaks for itself. Um, as you can see, it jumps off the, off the charts. And uh, so when he's able to escape, he's, he's able to find guys and make plays.
All right. Thanks, Hunter. Appreciate the All time. Right. Cool. All right, guys, if you want to get your questions.